Hi YouTube and welcome to Grand Attack. Now, today I'm going to talk about actually two programs. Um, one of them is Any DVD HT and the other one is Clone BD. Now, the difference is with any DVD HD I'll just bring it up here for you so you know what it looks like um, it decrypts your blu-ray discs in this case it's a 4k UHD disc uh, to use this I use it for backing up I don't use it for any anything pirate or anything um, I like backing up my discs so I can have them access directly onto my TV without having to go looking for this and when you get have kids in the house around and they're opening them and using them as frisbees and uh, putting their drink cans on and the different knows what so this is a way of backing up your legitimate copies that you went out or your legitimate discs that you went out and bought and making copies of them so uh, you have to purchase any DVD HD um, but it's absolutely fabulous. Um, 97, 98% of all 4K UHD Blu-ray discs can now be ripped onto hair drive, which I will show you how to do today. What you want to do with it is entirely up to yourself, whether you want to um, an MKV, if you want MPEG-4, AV-1, whatever you feel like your favorite file system is. Um, you can do it with any DVD HD it's basically an ISO rip and that's what it does it rips the whole disk and a mirror image onto your hard drive uh, but it's a companion which is clone BD now with this one uh, the reason you need both this does not decrypt the discs uh, this just um, let you uh, rip them onto your um, onto your hair drive in a lesser format or a smaller file uh, while keeping um, your disc in 4k so basically um, after you you put in your disc into your uh, friendly drive you'll be able to go online and find out what's a friendly drive and um, what's an official drive so um, official drives will not allow you to copy your 4k ultra HD friendly drives will so when, if you google it you'll see what you have to get your hands on to do this so basically after any DVD does its decrypting open up clone BD and this is what you get so it tells you here you know your folder from your disk this is your disk and this is your ISO image so you click on the cover and basically you get your little thumbnails up once that's done up here on the right hand side you will get your um, little uh, button to convert to a device or onto a file click on that now you have a, a decision to make you can have an MKV, MPEG-4, MPEG-2 stream, uh, whatever suits. Now I always do it in MKV because it copies it kind of straight across with no no messing. And press continue. Now you have all your thumbnails here. Um, and you'll see the end of the film here so you know it's ready to go. You can also pick um, your, you know, your bonuses, um, whatever else is available if you want. But I'm just sticking to the main title. So you press continue on that. Uh, now it's telling me that it already exists. Um, so um, naturally I've already uh, ripped this. Well, basically your, your screen will tell you. You can set it here to your video codec. I do it original. Audio codec the same. Over here you have your output resolution. So you can drop your resolution if you don't want to be filling your disc with uh, 4k and keeping it fairly but again it's it'll be uh, 
more than 1080p. Your next one down is 1080p. Up to yourself, whatever you want to do. Uh, your audio channels, I have a default uh, English um, DTS in this case. It can be true HD. Uh, it'll also download your Atmos or your DTSX uh, codec as well into it. And I just put uh, four stonely for English subtitles. And basically, what you need, what you have to do is, you press begin. Now, what happens there is, as you can see, it starts off showing you a preview screen of your of your movie. I can't let this go too long, so and I'm going to stop it now, and um, I'll just drop it. And it it shows you the frame rate is coming down in. Um, the length of time it's going to take to rip, etc. Uh, very, very easy to do. Um, not rocket science. And then you can go away and come back and it'll be up on the screen that it's finished. It'll ask you do you want to uh, do another disc or not. And you just say yes or no. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Nice and short demonstration. Um, hopefully it's, um, it's piqued your interest in it. And uh, happy ripping.